You know, guys, I tell you what, I miss so many opportunities at neat little videos because I just don't think about filming them until after it's over or until I'm almost done with it. What I've got here is a 212cc uh, Predator engine I put on last year on my rototiller. Had a Tecumseh on there, and uh, the Tecumseh just was no good. Uh, it had been totally rebuilt by a buddy of mine. He could not get it to run. I didn't even mess with it. I just took it off, threw it away, and uh, actually I put it on the shelf and picked up this Predator and went ahead and adapted this Predator right to it. It started literally with, I think, the second pull last year. And then last fall, I got ready to set the, put the garden away, you know, for winter. Wouldn't hit a lick. So I went ahead and pulled it out this morning, and I knew what it was. I double-checked, pulled the bottom off of the uh, the bowl off the carburetor, turned the fuel valve on and off. And, of course, it started pouring fuel. So I knew it had to be the jet going right up to the center. And also, while I was pouring fuel out, I fiddled with the float up and down, you know, and it stopped and started, stopped and started. So I knew it wasn't a problem with the main needle. So I knew it had to be this harvest. So I went ahead and dropped it out of there. And sure enough, there was a thin film. You could, it was opaque. Uh, it was kind of yellowy looking. So it was almost like the old varnish that we're used to seeing in the old, old gas. But it was just kind of yellow and I could not blow through it. But I went ahead and, and shot it with carburetor cleaner, hit it with a little breath of fresh air, you know, on the air compressor and it popped it right out. So now I'm gonna put it back in. Walked back over here and I thought, why didn't I tell you guys that this is the first problem I've ever had with Pry G. With my bigger carburetors and stuff on all the tractors, I've had absolute no issue whatsoever. Um, all my chainsaws, all that stuff, I treat all that fuel and don't have any issues or haven't had any issues. This is the first time. And I just completely forgot to even, even think about filming it. So at any rate, I'm gonna put this back in here and see if it'll start up. Everything else looks spick and span in there. I mean, there was absolutely nothing in the bottom of the bowl. Everything looked great. Float was just perfectly clean. So hopefully uh, it'll fire up a little bit easier. Cold natured, I see. Now that was a surprisingly easy pull uh, to fire up. So that's really pretty cool. It did go ahead and shut off on me, you know, because I know it's cold natured, but I'll go ahead and fire it up, warm it up, get it, get out, get out in the garden and see if I can get everything churned up. You know what I mean? But, uh, yeah, sorry about that. Completely forgot to, uh, to film taking it apart. Normally I'd put this thing up on the stand, but I knew it was going to be something simple, you know, uh, just absolutely knew it was going to be just a few seconds worth of work. Not worth the aggravation of putting everything together to get it up in the air. Oh, and by the way, this is Tractor Man 44 and, and I'm out of here, guys.